In the end, what we need to do is to end the suffering. And if you talk to any family who has lost a loved one, and 64,000 people were lost to a drug overdose in 2016, families across this country are desperate. And you all provide the very real possibility of the most powerful drug of all, and that's hope. As a candidate, Mr. Trump would travel throughout the country, including here in Ohio, and I would watch him stop and wait to receive the story of someone shouting from the crowd. And more often than not, it was somebody who had a very sad story to tell about a loved one lost to drug addiction. And as the president, as Mr. Trump, the candidate, kept hearing these stories and then heard his friend, Governor Christie, I think in one of the most impassioned deliveries about a personal story and what the ravages of drug addiction um, that can happen to any of us since no state has been spared and no demographic group or community has gone untouched by this scourge. He started to want to learn more about the issue and indeed has and has taken that right into the White House with him. And so today nationally, VA has reduced opioid use since its launch in 2013 of its opioid safety initiative by 25%. That means that today 240,000 fewer veterans are using opioids than they were just uh, four years ago. And we're continuing those efforts.